But I remember that. I remember when we met that I was earning, you know, five times what you were earning. When we met, my wife was earning one hundred and fifty thousand. And you were earning thirty. I was earning thirty thousand. Please, I'm talking to guys. <laughs> Communicate early. Mm. I remember it was the first day I visited her home, in her house. I said. This thing looking at is, I see it's going to be serious. <laughs> Let me just tell you. This is how I am. Eh? See all the gays, gays you are seeing on Twitter. I get an allowance. I wasn't even getting paid because I was in a particular kind of deal, mm -hmm. and I was getting an allowance of thirty grand a month. So I told her this is what I earn on a monthly basis. Confirmed earning. This was in 20, 12, 2013. 2012. 2012, twenty thirteen. Twenty twelve. December. Yeah. December. 26th. Yeah, around that Christmas time. Shall December 26th. Yes. So, your essence is when you are, when you do not find your, a, a man's, how does the Bible say? A man's uh, life does not, life consist, does not consist in, the, in abundance the abundance of things in his hands. When your essence, the power of your essence, you are not defined by what is currently in your hand mm. is when you are confident and self-assured enough to communicate the way I so did. Good. So you don't do, if you are going to live your, if you are planning to live life with this person, you have to start practicing being naked and non-ashamed. This is where I am now. I will not always be here. I mean, if you are listening to me and how I talk, you will know I will not always be here. <laughs> but this is where I am now. Know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, so I remember, yes, and then we got married. And I remember, honestly, I don't think I've said this story before, but somewhere at the back of my mind, I got married with some shoulder pads. You have said it different times. Have I it said wasn't saying to me, but you have shared it. Oh, with yeah. Women. You know, I got married with some shoulder pads of, you know, I'm the one earning the money, I'll be earning the most of the money. And, um, you know, I just had that, I just had that ego, sort of, right? Yes, or, you know, I was so. You know, I was Fonto, the boy, child of God and all of that. But, you know, God is always dealing. But I believe that, you know, God now took us on a journey. So this was me. And then I got, you know, I was working at this multinational, you know, and I was really earning, you know, that uh, I, I was earning. I can't remember how much I was even earning in L'Oreal, but, you know, I was still the one bringing in most of the money. And then L'Oreal had to shut down operations in Nigeria. And then it was like God now brought me into the. And then it was like, the, it was like, as soon as, you know, I was, I didn't have a job, you know, L'Oreal shut down. I was now, I, we now had our first child. You now got a job as the music um, director, yeah, yeah, you know, at a particular church. And they were paying you almost times two of what I was earning. So in that season, it was like God telling, it was like God pruning my shoulder pads. Like, okay, so you, you came with this, your shoulder pad that you don't want anymore. Now I'm going to take you on this journey of cutting <laughs> this should up, you know. So yeah, I feel like, you know, to answer that question on what she thinks on what I think or what we think on feminine ego is a woman who is really submitted to Christ and who is really yielded to the leading of the spirit, right? You know, you can come in with baggage, but you can come with all that feminist baggage and all of that. But as you yield to the spirit, right, it would really chop it off. I remember that. I remember, you know, I think it was the first few months of our marriage when we had this heated conversation and then you went to the room you know, to cry. And then I was, I was saying, why are you even crying? You know, I remember what you said that really, you know, kind of like resets my brain. You said, I remember seeing you, you know, crying and asking why are you even crying, Steph? Right. And you said to me that you felt like you made the wrong choice marrying me. This was like, what, six, eight months into our marriage. And, you know, just hearing you say that really, I was really, I was like, Wow. Like me, Funso, how did you, how would you ever think that you made, I know Feel what like. that, you know, what that did to me was I literally carried myself to God and I went to God and said, God, like if you leave me to myself and this marriage, I will just really be like the foolish woman in Proverbs that tore our marriage down with her own hands. Like if you don't give me wisdom for this marriage, 
I will not build it. You know, I won't build it. And, you know, so it was just me going to God and just asking God for wisdom to build my marriage, right? So I share that to say, you know, when it comes to all that feminine ego, the more we yield to God, the more we, you know, submit to the Spirit, the more we are led by the Spirit. He knows how to prune us. He knows the things to, you know, the situations you used to, you know, right. cut that off. Right. So this, this, this is what I will say. The scripture that tells couple how to operate mm. that says wives do Submit. this husbands Love. do this that thing is like a commandment mm. and I believe that it is a commandment because the falling natural state of each gender is contrary to, to that, that commandment mm -hmm. where I'm going is if the Bible told women, told not women, wives to submit, it means that the natural. falling natural state of a woman is not to submit. Yeah. Is is ego. So good. <laughs> is ego. Which means when she asks, most times relationship and marriage teachings talk mainly on About the male, male ego. ego. I dare say that I can infer from that scripture that the female ego is actually even bigger mm -hmm. than the male ego. That is why the instruction or the commandment in that wives. scripture to wives is to submit. submit. Which means you, you, you're, for, I keep saying fallen because prior to that, yeah. you, are, you are in God. Mm -hmm. You are not in good and evil. You are not mm -hmm. in the tree of good mm -hmm. and evil. I'll, I'll share that later, another episode. Yeah, the man fell from the God Glory. level to the good, good and, and evil, evil level because the tree they ate of was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, not the tree of knowledge of evil. So the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is like yin yang, both good and evil is inside. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be on that level. We're supposed to be on the God level. Mm -hmm. And all we know is God, right? So the woman is actually the one from that scripture with the bigger ego that needs to submit yield to God so that you can submit to your husband. Yeah. The man that he says to love the wife is because the natural, natural falling. falling state of the man isn't love, is selfishness, mm -hmm. is self-centeredness. That's the natural falling state of man. You're a go-getter, you're trying to achieve, you're trying to, you're not thinking or considering or conscious of that the, you need to love this. Yeah, that's why you are commanded to love like Christ loved the church. Mm.